Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to install frame generation mods for your games on your Steam Deck, Steam OS, if you've installed them with Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, so if you've got games on your GOG.com account or Epic Game Store account and you installed it to your Steam Deck with Heroic Games Launcher like I have right here. The game I'm going to demonstrate is The Witcher 3. It's on my GOG.com account. I've installed it onto my Steam Deck with Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, I'm going to launch the game, show you the game without the mod first. Okay, and then I'm going to install the easiest way for frame generation. Okay, this game has DLSS frame generation, but because we're playing it on the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck does not have an NVIDIA GPU. That's why you can't toggle it on. But with this mod, we're able to toggle on DLSS and that in like translates it to FSR free frame generation. We can get performance boost. And it's very easy. Okay, so let's just run the game first. So, you know, I want to demonstrate that it actually works. So just be patient. Just let the game boot up. Okay, loading. Okay, my game. And then if you go to options, and then video display you can see this is the steam deck all right and you can see frame generation dlss frame generation is like grayed out we can't access that okay it's because we don't have an nvidia gpu obviously so get out of here let's get out of here and let me interrupt for a minute i want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video instantgaming.com if you're not familiar with instant gaming make sure you check them out using my link below they sell games at discounted prices like big discounts because they buy their game keys directly from the game developers so cutting out any middleman okay and if you're interested in the game today that i'm showing off the witcher 3 like if you don't have it somehow it is an excellent game totally worth the price it's currently on their website at like 79 percent discount so it's around 11 euros if you check out gog.com okay they're selling it for 50 us dollars okay so there's no discount no promotions at like at this moment but they do this game is always on promotion basically but if you want to get it like now Get it from instantgaming.com. Save yourself some money. I do get a little kickback without any like additional cost to you. So if you want to support me, go check them out. Thank you, Instant Gaming, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to our video. The easiest way right now is to get this mod. Okay, It's the DLSS enabler mod. You can install it manually, but fake Bichal, okay, he actually made this uh, a lot easier with his little mod here. All you need to do is copy this code and then go to your start menu okay and then go to all applications search for k k for console open up this console terminal okay paste that command press enter okay and you only have to do it once okay i've already done it okay here it says I've, it's already exists so i'm just going to override it so if you've installed it previously, it's good to go. Unless it's like pretty old, you might want to update it because it should grab the latest stable release of the DLSS enabler mod. Okay, so by default, it's going to create it here in your home deck FG mod directory. So if you go to your Dolphin file explorer, home, and then it should be here, FG mod. It's right here. So if you've got this, you can see here, here's the location, home deck FG mod. It's now like updating. So just let it update. We're almost there, I think. Very simple, like just do the, you only have to do it once and then you can install it onto multiple games. So once you've got it done, it's going to tell you. So if you're doing this on your Steam library, all you need to do is copy this and put it into the launch options. So let's say this is my Steam library. All I have to do is just paste it here and run the game and it works. Okay, but we're not doing it for Steam library in this video. We're doing it for Heroic. So it does say here for Heroic, add this as a new wrapper. So just copy this, copy this, and then go back to your heroic, okay, your game, and then click on this options button, 
go to advanced okay then scroll down here wrapper command here wrapper just paste it here so home slash deck slash fg mod slash fg mod and then click on this plus button make sure it's added okay you don't have to write anything in the arguments so just do this close it and run the game okay and like it might not work so i know some people have had issues they've done this and it doesn't work i'm going to tell you why i did talk to fake machal about this and he did guide me through it so like it, the game doesn't run now because you've added that uh wrapper okay and if you go to here settings log you'll know why so log the witcher 3 if you scroll down it says here Okay, so here's the error. No such file or directory, okay? But we do have this file. We have this directory right here, okay? But it's because most people install Heroic Games Launcher as a flat pack and it's a pretty contained environment. We did, you need to give this flat pack, this Heroic Games Launcher permission to access your location here. So how do you do that? Go to your um, Discover Software Center, all right? Go to search. And search for an app called Flat Seal. Okay, it looks like this. Looks like a toilet paper roll. Okay, this app, Flat Seal. Install it. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to launch it. Okay, and once you've launched it, it's it looks something like this. On your left hand side here, scroll for your flat pack for Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, here it is, Heroic Games Launcher. And scroll down on the right hand side, scroll down in the file system. Okay, here, click other files, click this plus, and paste that directory. Okay, so home deck FG mod FG mod. I don't think we need two FG mods. Okay, so just this directory, I'm gonna give it permission to access this location. Okay, and then just close out of it, click on the cross. And we have to restart the Heroic Games Launcher. So it doesn't work just now. You need to restart it for it to kick in. So just close Heroic Games Launcher. Make sure it's closed. Oops. So now we're going to open up Heroic Games Launcher again. Now we should have permission. So now, click play. The game has an update. Do you want to update it? Okay, let's just update it. It shouldn't be too long. Updating game. How big is the file? Okay, it's updated. Updated. Do we have to click play again? Yeah, click play. Oops, the game has an update. Okay, let's not update. Just play the game. Sold. Okay, now we're launching the game and it should work. Okay launcher click play so yeah definitely improved right because before we couldn't even launch into the launcher if we added that wrapper so it's looking fine okay the game's booting up now let's check if the mod worked okay go to options video play and you can see here we can toggle on DLSS frame generation. See that? Okay, go to graphics. Set it to ultra. Oh, we don't really need ultra, just set it to high. And then anti aliasing. We can select DLSS. Okay, quality. Yeah, the mod definitely works. So that's how you do it, guys, for, you know, Heroic Games Launcher. Easiest way to install frame generation mod and you can even like 
like I said, if you've got another game on Horror Games Launcher, let's say let's say this actually works, you can you just have to do it. You just have to add the new wrapper, add the add this. That's it. Like if you've if you've done the console, if you installed it once, that's that's all you have to do for the games that support this mod. Easy. All right. So thank you for watching. I'll leave it here. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you out. And if you don't have any issues, still leave a comment. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Later.